Yeah. I was born into the harsh summer of 1973. I was no, I'm 19 years of age now, and it's 2007, which is a tough year for me, because there's lots of international gestures. <coughs> My dad passed away in 1985, when I was 14 years of age. That was hard on me. The last thing he said to me was, Be true to yourself, son. Don't tell lies. And that's, that's true to me and everything I do now. I just try and be honest with myself and play as hard as I can. My mother passed away in 1997, which was also hard on me because I wasn't there to support my younger brother and sister. Which was hard. And I'm currently living with my mother in Lethal, which is it's just hard because I also live with my wife and two kids, Billy, Nathan and Jack. I love them dearly. Coordination is a big thing in Gaelic football. If you don't have good hands, you're not going anywhere. See what I mean? It's all about technique. You gotta kick through the ball, not at the ball. As I demonstrate here. <laughs> Gaelic football is about being mentally tough and physically strong. That includes taking a hit. <laughs> sure, Gaelic football has its ups and downs. This is one of the ups. You attract a lot of women. In a physical sport such as this. But what can I say? I'm a stud. Thanks, ladies. You have to do a lot of training, but you need to be allowed to be a Gaelic football star. Every morning at 6 a.m., I get up and go for a 45 minute run. Yeah, I'm gonna go and do some weights, then I do some strength and aesthetics exercises. Sometimes I go, you know, to the beautician and get a turn, a turn of sexy body. But that's what I say. And now I have to go. I've got to meet with the boys, show them what's worth. It wasn't for my childhood mentor, Seamus O'Toole. Come in here, Seamus. Ah, uh, how are you doing, Harlem? Good to see you. Great. Don, tell him how you've trained me up to become what I am today, an elite athlete. Well, when I met Harlem, he was no higher than the top of me knee there. That's he true. Was, so he was, so he was. He was all skin and bone. Yeah, and what we did was we pumped him right up. We oh. got to put him what he is today. That's showed him all my skills, I'm taught him unit. everything I know. Oh. I'm glad. Give me a hug. Harlem, <laughs> thank you. Good. Thank you. Are there any special mementos that are there any special mementos that you keep with you just before game time? Oh, as always. I've always got one hand. My lucky sweater bands. I got these two weeks ago and they've only provided me with luck ever since. I also keep this on with on all times. It's my last memory of my father. It's it's a quote, the only good thing that that worthless bastard ever said to me before he told. Honor living. I don't believe in that. That was a it's a champion's quote, that's what it is, a legend's quote. And it is my quote. Thank you, Kim. Something special on for today's interview. Just for this one that nobody's ever seen before. It is. Now, this is the article about me, my first international appearance. Here I am, here. I'm just about to score a drop goal. It was a great moment in my life, and my parents were ever so proud. But now, now they can't see me, how I'm shining in like, my international career at best. I've currently scored 73 drop goals. This is a great achievement, second only to Tony Lockett, who's currently got 543. I like to call my memory corner. All these previous articles that have been placed for me in the Herald Sun and the Examiner, which are all Australian papers, which I find amusing because I'm currently Irish, but I've never been to that small country. But I like it very much that they believe, as me and my cousin, Martin Clark, elect one person. And they believe that one day I'll become a great Australian rules football as well.
I don't believe I will, because I'm a lover of Gaelic. I don't believe I'll ever leave it behind, even for the money. You think you know Gaelic football, but I'm sure you don't, because you probably think it's a combination of soccer and Australian rules, but it's not. Gaelic is a whole different board game. Apart from physical strength and mental toughness, you need dexterity and intelligence. I do a lot of work on the board. And first up, you've got like the combination player, and he's got to kick it over to the midfielder, but you also have a full forward down here, and the defense, which is just here, blocking off opposition players. And you know that you got to take hits in rugby and Gaelic. Same sort of sport, yeah, except different balls, you know. And what you go is you come over from here, and you've got to go up like that, but the goals are like that. And you can either take the net, get it in the back of the net, or you can go for a drop goal. A lot of players enter the drop goal to avoid a lot of opposition. What I'm just talking about is straight up, back of the net kind of stuff. That's today's lesson. Now in Gaelic football, you need a lot of flexibility and dexterity to excel in this sport. That's why I practice gymnastics at an elite level. I'll demonstrate. Oh!